Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to Billy Goes Prophetic Vessel. It's your girl, Billy Go, and we got a message for you. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. This is for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, and Chosen Ones. Okay. This is, a, this is a timeless message. So regardless of when you're coming across this reading, days, months, weeks, years later after it's been posted is when the Holy Spirit feels like you could be receptive of a message or be a messenger to someone else in his name, okay? This could be past, present, or future information for you. I don't choose the cards to come out or the storyline the Holy Spirit does and my spiritual team. All right. And again, please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, Holy Spirit, what do we have? So some of you guys could be, could have, could have an attraction to someone or someone has a strong attraction to you. Somebody likes you. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So... Someone has a strong attraction to you. They may or may not have thought that they would, or this is you, flip the energies as you see fit here. This could be someone that you have some, a past life relationship with um, in one of your past lives, okay? Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So, yeah, soulmate here. So, whatever, whatever, whoever you've been learning soul lessons from, or you're about to just let go of control issues here, okay? Because whoever whoever this soulmate is to you, look at this true love. And I don't take these cards in reversal. This is the romance of a lifetime. So this is someone that maybe you thought was your true love, or they could be your true love. Look at this. Pay attention to the red flags. But something happened with this connection where you know there was there was some sort of attraction. This wasn't and or isn't your your type, okay? So, like, let's say for those of you guys that have a type or maybe you guys were dealing with someone who has a type, okay? Flip the energies as you see fit. Put yourself on the side of the story as you see fit. Well, you know, somebody was dealing with someone who wasn't their usual type, wasn't their usual, like, type of person at all that they go for, which... Could be a good or bad thing, depending upon who you're dealing with here. And let go of control issues. So, someone needed to allow the connection to unfold naturally instead of having trying to control everything, dictate everything. That's not a partnership, okay? And things could have became too toxic. And yes, this was a soulmate. And for some of you guys, yes, this was your true love. All right? Or something happened here where, you know, something didn't unfold naturally, all right? There was too much control, whether on your end and or um, whoever you were dealing with. And this is a safe and sacred space. God and I, we don't discriminate against real love here, okay? We welcome monogamy, poly, LGBTQIA+. And if you don't like it, you can just simply go to another reader, okay? Take a gift of free will and move on, all right? And if you want to book a personal reading on your own situation and circumstance, you can feel free to do so via the website link that's linked in the description box. DonMySpiritualGuidance.com Feel free to also check out our uh, you, other YouTube page, our Zodiac and Slash Collective channel, Don Juan Spiritual Guidance. That link is also in the description box too. All right. Holy oh, Spirit, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior, what happened? And, you know, this could, wow, I'm going to take this too. Queen of Wands in reverse. So, what you didn't see is that someone was highly manipulative, okay? They they, they were very playful. Um, you know, there is a difference between being childlike and childish. They could have came off as childish when it came to this connection, okay? Or you, flip the energy as you see fit here. Somebody didn't see this coming. And, you know, I'm hearing split. You could feel split. They could have felt like 
they were split. Um, when I say split, I don't mean like schizophrenia. I mean, though some of you guys could feel like that. And I don't like just tossing that undiagnosis around. What I mean by that is, you know, when it comes to mental health versus spirituality, schizophrenia, when it comes to spirituality, can look like multiple spiritual attachments, okay? It can look like in, 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 in a form of DID. It can also look like um, psychosis. But it's really like demons and entities, negative deities um, running through you, okay? But like to people who don't uh, believe in God, don't study metaphysics, doesn't study the paranormal or any form of that, they're just going to pass it off into certain science, uh, medical science and the thing is is that yes metaphysics is a science but it's the type of treatment that the person needs the person doesn't need pills with chemicals right they need a, a, a shaman okay certain psychedelics to give them a higher consciousness experience um I was I have to get CEUs for my license and there's a one of the CEUs is for psychedelic treatment for clinicians to offer to their clients. But the problem is that the most of the psychedelic treatments are outside of the U.S., right? And all of these doctors, um, you know, on the panel, psychologists and, you know, clinicians and so on and so forth, was talking about their experience with their clients and psychedel the psychedelic treatment and the shamans and higher consciousness and so on and so forth and how in conjunction. And I mean, you can still get how a ceremony without the psychedelic treat there's other forms of energy and medicine and so on and so forth and holistic but it's the it's it's the knowledge right there's a lack of knowledge when it comes to options for people so not to get off tangent when it comes to that if you want me to make a video explaining the differences and so on and so forth, that's fine. But this was just to give you an idea how this person could become or people could be coming off and or you. Okay. And, you know, they need a series, a series of clearings, different types of clearings, not just one. Okay. And it doesn't make it right. But with them being in this state of mind. Okay. Because I'm kind of getting Jekyll Hyde here. You know, they did some pretty sadistic, wicked shit to you or you did to them. Okay. Playing games. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Seven of Swords. Yeah, being sneaky. Being sneaky. Th lots of third parties. Okay. Or this was you with energies as you see fit. Yeah. And it's like some they thought that they were the they were this mature energy. Or you were flipped energies as you see fit. When no, it was the exact opposite. Okay, age doesn't mean maturity. Your wisdom does. Seven of cups in reverse. So now you're starting to see things clearly and or they are, depending upon what side of the story you're on here. They can want to marry you or some of you guys, you already got married. This could be your twin for some of you. It doesn't have to be. Um, and you know, love is more than just romantic. For some of you guys, this could be a family member, a uh, 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 actual platonic love, you know, somebody that you have, have love for platonically. Okay, flip the energies as you see fit. Yeah, so this was somebody that they were initially jealous of you. Ah, yeah, they backstabbed and betrayed you. You could have been living with them or, you know, not everybody with some of you guys. And yeah, they, they backstabbed and betrayed you. Or you backstabbed and betrayed them. This was a horrible ending. This is someone that you were supposed to be counterparts with for some of you. For some of you. But well, somebody didn't make a good choice there. Yeah. So now you blocked them or they've blocked you. Flipped energies as you see fit here so that you can heal. Four of Swords. Yeah. And, and it's like they didn't see this coming. You didn't respond how everybody else 
typically responded to this person's or people's behaviors or yours with energies as you see fit here okay it's like oh let me keep breadcrumbing them i should be able to get the response that i want from them and it's just like no like the time or day would never come for that when it comes to you or them flipped energies as you see fit here because you know god's truly been leading and guiding your steps on what to do how to do okay holy spirit jesus christ our Lord, savior what's the final what's the final messages that soulmates two different decks okay so yes you guys were supposed to teach each other these soul lessons all right soulmates soul connection partnership agreement soul contract yeah so you had a soul contract with each other that doesn't always mean that doesn't always mean um again romantically because you have soulmates that come across your path and you're just supposed to teach them a lesson and it's, and it's just that and vice versa they're teaching you a lesson too palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance flexibility the runner runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to ego Okay, so it could have been a lot of you could be running now. I'm like the tables could have turned after this portrayal. Like they could have been running, listening to their ego, having a fear of intimacy, fear of commitment, whatever the case may be. But now it's like, you know, you're running, you know, because this was a nasty betrayal for a lot of you here. This was a nasty betrayal. They could want to call you, they could want to talk. But the the prob the problem is that you know and again this could be your true love but now God is gonna have to raise somebody else up because you know somebody somebody really messed up but of course you know you make your own decisions whether or not you want to take somebody back you know and talk to God about it you know God has the final final say. And it's, it's up to you. It's literally your prerogative, okay? But they do want to talk. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know. And it's up to you if you want to talk. It's up to you if you want to pick up the phone, answer the phone, text back, DM back, message back. Free will, guys, okay? So, but it looks like you might be being guided here to block or put up a boundary, okay? Whatever that may look like for you, that's healthy and positive, all right? So thank you all for your love and support here. It is truly, truly appreciated. And always remember that you make your own decisions. Peace out. Deuces.